Hey, I'm Bailey and today I'm taking you guys on a five kilometer walk through real Australian bush in Bald Park. Let's do it! So we're here in the lovely Bald Park. It's absolutely gorgeous and because it's a work day, I think we have it pretty much all to ourselves. I've seen a few people running around, but it's really, really quiet. You'd have no idea that we're pretty much in the middle of the city. Uh, it feels like we're <laughs> in the bloody bush. So the first thing we're gonna do is walk up this freaking hill all the way up to the top of the rear bald hill where the main lookout is. Have a nice view of Perth and of the ocean from up there. And then we'll start work on the full trail around. Made it to the top of Rear Bold Hill and we've got wonderful 360 views all the way across Perth and surrounds. So we've got the city behind me just now and then turn around and we've got the Indian Ocean. So we're going to enjoy the view from up here for a little bit, check out the sights and then we're going to head ourselves back down and take the Zania Trail which is a five kilometer loop around the whole park. Let's do it! So I was a little bit wrong in my last video where I said that Perth has no seasons. According to the Noongar people, it actually has six. And April, May is the Jaren season, which is the uh, just slightly not as hot as balls. <laughs> actually, I'm not sure what the Jaren season is. It's probably similar to autumn, slight cooling off. Uh, but in this particular area of Bold Park, it is the season for cockatoos and for Bankshire wattles. And we've seen heaps of Bankshire wattles so far and absolutely no cockatoos. Bold Park is the largest remaining bushland park in the Perth urban area, with 437 hectares of Tuat Bankshire woodlands and limestone heaths supporting an impressive amount of biodiversity. More than 1,000 native and non-native species of flora, fauna and fungi can be found in the park, making Bold Park a key area for ecological conservation. We have had a little bit of rain, but this year's been pretty dry so far, and still most of this area is Pretty lush, pretty green. Uh, there's lots of dead spinifex grass around, but the Australian bush is remarkably resilient to heat. Surprise, surprise. You can sort of see just how tough everything is. Lots of bindly leaves and spikiness and everything else. Everything just sort of fighting for as much water as they can get. Very quiet. There's a pink and grey colitis in this tree behind me. Halfway around the Zanny Trail, still no red tailed black cockatoos, but heaps of other birds. Saw a couple of parrots, saw a couple of magpies, even saw a crookabar back there a little bit. Uh, hopefully, that one comes up on the camera. Lots of bees too, lots of those Bankshire waddles. Ah, uh, but no black cockatoos. Hopefully we see one. Got another two and a half k's to go. I can't believe just how serene this place is. For what is basically an inner city park, it is just absolutely gorgeous and we have it all to ourselves, more or less. We've seen a couple of people running, a couple of people walking, a couple of people out with their kids, but all I can hear from end to end is just the wind in the trees, a couple of birds chirping, and me talking to a camera. So we finally saw a red-tailed black cockatoo just in this tree behind me. I think it's that one. <laughs> I wish I had a better camera to capture it. He's just eating some nuts. Oh shit! I really hope I got that on camera. <laughs> All 
right, we're just finishing up five kilometer trail in Bowl Park and I'm hot and the beach is just over the hill. So we're gonna go for a swim. All right, let's do it. Western Australia has miles of pristine coastline and you don't even have to leave the city for them. The gorgeous white sands and clean clear water all the way to the horizon, it's hard to not want to just jump straight in. However, even calm beaches like City Beach can have dangerous riptides and the odd shark or two. So make sure to always swim between the red and yellow surf life saving flags. Thanks so much for coming with me to Bowl Park. Hope you guys had a lovely time. If you've got a favorite spot in Perth you want me to check out, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. All right, bye. Uh, it's kind of the thing about, you know, having a park mostly to yourself. It's more awkward to be taking photos, to be talking to your camera, to be filming things than it is when it's super busy and you can kind of just blend into the background a little bit more. You know, every person here is definitely standing out.